Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now this is the last and final video on simplex method. The last problem, problem number 15, I am going to explain. So totally 14 problems I have completed. First three problems on maximization type, second three problems on minimization, next three type, three problems on mixed constraints. So nine problems are all. The remaining 10th to 15th problem I have done on duality. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. See here, in this operation research subject, the tough, sub, uh, the tough chapter is this simplex method. Remaining all chapters like simulation, game theory or queuing theory, network analysis, transportation, assignment, all these are easier chapters. But this will require a lot of practice. So only watching the video and listening the lecture is not sufficient. You have to practice because a lot of uh, number manipulations are there. That means you must be able <coughs> to calculate, to make correct calculation, accurate calculations. That is possible only when you watch the video two, three times. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operation research, watch all the initial videos, be perfect about the concept. Then you can be able to confidently do the problem on simplex method. Now, before starting the 15th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now I'm going to start 15th problem, see carefully. A company makes three products X, Y and Z out of three raw material A, B and C. The raw material requirement is given. The number of units of raw material required to produce one unit of product X, Y, Z. The finished product are X, Y, Z. For making this X, Y, Z, we need three resources. The resources are raw material A, B and C. So example for making one unit of uh, for one unit of x we need one unit of raw material a two units of raw material b and c two units for making one unit of x for one unit of y we require two units of material a one unit of material b and five units of material c and for making one unit of product z one unit of raw material a four units of raw material b and one unit of raw material C. This is the raw material required for making each unit of finished product is given. The unit profit contribution, whenever profit is given, it means it's a maximization problem. The unit profit maxi uh, profit contribution of product XYZ are 40 rupees, 25 rupees, 50 rupees respectively. So each unit will give a profit. X profit per unit 40, Y profit per unit 25, and Z profit per unit is 50. The number of units of raw material available are 36, 60, 45 respectively. That means there is a restriction on the availability of raw material. The raw material A is available only 36 units. That means we don't have more than 36 units. So we can make use either 36 or less, less than equal to 36. Similarly for B product, uh, B material, uh, the maximum availability is 60 units. So we can make use either 60 or less, not more than 60. Then C raw material available is 45 units. We can make use either 45 or less, not more. Determine the product mix that will maximize the total profit. First question, find out the product mix. That means how many units of product X, Y and Z to be produced so that the profit will get maximized. Through the final simplex table, write the solution of dual. So in the final simplex table, we can get to the solution of primal as well as dual. So we have to write what is the solution of dual from the final simplex table. So first of all, forget about dual. First we complete how many units we have to make X, Y, Z in order to maximize the profit. <coughs> now, first of all, we have to formulate the problem in the form of LPP. Let the company produce X1, X2, X3 units of product X, Y and Z. According to the given condition, the objective function. The objective is to maximize the profit. To so maximize Z is equal to. The profit per unit of X is 40 rupees. Given 40 into X1. X1 number of units of product X. And 25 is the unit profit for Y product. 25 x2 plus 50 rupees is the unit profit of z so 50 x3 
तो फोर्टी एक्स वन प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स टू प्लस फिफ्टी एक्स थ्री दिस द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्ट्रेंट्स तो इन द प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन ए ए हाउ मच ए रॉ मटेरियल इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेकिंग एक्स वाई एंड जेड तो वन यूनिट फॉर एक्स टू यूनिट फॉर वाई एंड वन यूनिट फॉर जेड तो वी कैन राइट ऑन एक्स वन प्लस टू एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री दिस द रॉ मटेरियल ए and the maximum availability of raw material is 36 we can make use either 36 or less secondly for b raw material two units are required for x one unit for y and four units for z so 2x1 plus uh, x2 plus 4x3 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 less than or equal to maximum availability of b raw material is 60 less than or equal to 60 last for c raw material Two units are required for making x. Five units are required for making y, and one unit is required for making z. So two x one plus five x two plus x three. Two x one plus five x two plus x three less than equal to maximum availability of raw materials C is forty five. Less than or equal to forty five. And non-negativity restriction says x one, x two, x three will always be equal uh, greater than equal to zero. because production cannot be negative production may be zero or positive so non negativity restriction that's all we have formulated the problem in the form of lpp next step we have to convert the inequality into equations now we have to see whether the inequalities are less than or greater than here all we have less than equal to type so we have to add the slack variable plus s1 plus s2 plus s3 So three slack variables we need. So after introducing the slack variable, how our LPP will be? Standard form of LPP. Objective function 40x1 plus 25x2 plus 50x3 plus 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2 plus 0 into s3. All almost every problem we have done the same thing. Then subject to constraints, simply we have to add the slack variable in each constraint. So x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 plus s1 is equal to 36. We have converted the inequality into equality. Second, 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 plus s2 is equal to 60. Third one, 2x1 plus 5x2 plus x3 plus s3 is equal to 44. And all the constraint x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3 will be greater than equal to zero. That's it. Now an initial solution is obtained by taking X one zero, X two zero, X three zero. If we take the basic variable as zero, then what will happen? S one will become thirty six, S two will become sixty, and S three will become forty five. Now we'll start the first simplex table. The first simplex table does not involve any calculations; only coefficients we require. Same table C J stands for the coefficient of objective function. so it is there in this row and also it is there in the column so what are the x1 coefficient it is 40 x2 coefficient 25 x3 coefficient 50 and s1 s2 s3 zero is the coefficient so zero now basic solution we are getting s1 is equal to 36 s2 60 s3 is 45 and the coefficient is s1 0 s2 0 s3 0 zj Multiply the CJ value with the variable. Zero into thirty-six zero plus zero into sixty zero plus zero into forty-five zero. So ultimately ZJ is zero. Now first of all we need the variables in this body of this matrix. Now we take the coefficient of constraints. The constraints are here. What are the coefficient of constraint? One x one. So I am taking one x one. Two x two. Then it is. X three one x three, then S one is one, then zero zero. Second constraint two x one, then one x two, four x three, and S two is equal to zero. S two is equal to one, zero zero. Last constraint two x one, five x two. Then we have one x three. Then s three is one. Remaining zeros. That's all. Now we have to calculate the zj value. 
already I told you 0 into 36 plus 0 into 60 plus 0 into 45 is 0. Multiply 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 2, 0, 0 into 2, 0. So all ZJ values will become zeros because we are multiplying with the 0, right? Now CJ minus ZJ, 40 minus 0, 40. 25 minus 0, 25. 50 minus 0, 50. 0 minus 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, optimality test. After completing this step, this test, you have to write the uh, optimality test. Always keep a pen, calculator, notebook ready. Because everything I cannot write on the board. So, you should write on optimality test. For maximization problem, all the index row elements should be zeros and negatives. This is the index row element. Index row. So all the index row elements should be zeros and negatives. There should not be any positive. If there is positive, we have to make another table. Right? The highest positive should be selected. The so highest positive is what? 50 is the highest. 50 is the highest positive. Now this is the entering variable for the next iteration these are the intersectional element and x3 will enter in the next table x3 will enter now one variable has to be departed either s1 or s2 or s3 now which variable to be departed depends on minimum ratio solution value divided by intersectional element what is the solution value here 36 intersectional element 1 so 36 by 1 is equal to 36. Secondly, 60 divided by 4. 60 divided by 4 is 15. Then 45 divided by 1 is 45. Now, in this minimum ratio, what is the minimum value? 36, 15 or 45? 15 is minimum. For which variable 15 is the minimum? S2. So what will happen? In the next table, S2 will depart and which will enter? X3. So here I am writing X3 enters and S2 departs. <clears throat> Simplex table 2. X3 enters and S2 departs. Same thing. Now here, first S1 as it is. Second, in place of S2, I am taking X3. Last one, S3 remains same. Now, what is the coefficient of S1 there? 0. X3 coefficient is 50. S3 coefficient is 0. That's all. Now, we need to calculate the value of the entering variable. First of all, value of entering variable. Which is the entering variable here? X3. What is the formula? Already every problem we have done. Value of entering variable is equal to value of departing variable divided by intersectional element. So what is the departing value? Uh, variable S2. So departing values are 60, 2, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0. These are the values of the departing variable. Divided by intersectional element here is 4. 4 is the intersectional element, right? Now, 60 divided by 4 is 15. 2 divided by 4 is 1 by 2. This is 1 by 4. This is 4 by 4 is 1. 0 by 4 is 0. 1 divided by 4 is 1 by 4. And lastly, 0 divided by 4 is 0. That's all. So, we got the values of the entering variable. Entering variable is x3. So take it down, x3 values are 15, then we have 1 by 2, then we have 1 by 4, then 1, 0, 1 by 4 and 0, that's all. So we have taken the values of the entering variable. Now we need the new values of S1, values of S1. Old values of S1 minus intersectional element into entering variable values. The so old values of S1 are 36, 1, 2, 
वन वन जीरो एंड जीरो माइनस इंटरसेक्शनल एलिमेंट ऑफ एस वन वॉट इज द इंटरसेक्शन एलिमेंट वन वन इंटू वन इंटू वन इंटू वन इंटू वैल्यूज ऑफ द एंट्रिंग वेरिएबल एंट्रिंग वेरिएबल आर फिफ्टीन देन वन बाय टू देन वन बाय फोर देन वन देन जीरो देन वन बाय फोर लास्ट वन इज जीरो इज इक्वल टू नाउ वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई इट राइट थर्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन इज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी थर्टी थर्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन करेक्ट थर्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन वन माइनस हाफ इज हाफ then 2 minus 1 by 4 so 2 minus 1 by 4 if lcm we have taken 4 uh, then 1 how many times cuts 4 4 times 4 to the 8 minus 4 how many times cuts 4 1 time 1 one, 1 the 1 so it is 7 by 4 right 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus 1 by 4 is minus 1 by 4 0 minus 0 is 0 so we got the values of s1 now take it down values of s1 21 then we have half then we have 7 by 4 next we have 0 next we have 1 then minus 1 by 4 and last one is 0 we got the values of s1 Similarly, we we need we need the values of S three, values of S three. Same formula, old values minus intersectional element into entering variable. Values of entering variable. Old values of S three are forty five, then two five one zero zero one, right? Minus intersectional element of S three. What is the intersectional element? One. One into. Now values of the entering variable. Entering variable are fifteen. Then one by two. Next one by four. Next one. Then zero. Then one by four. And last one is zero. These are the values of the entering variable. Now we need to simplify. Forty-five minus fifteen is thirty. Two minus half. Two minus one by two is equal to LCM two. Two two is a four minus one. That is equal to three by two. Five minus one by four. So LCM is four. So one how many times cuts four four times four five is a twenty minus. Two four one time one. So twenty minus one is nineteen by four. Here one minus one is zero. Zero minus zero zero. Zero minus one by four is minus one by four. One minus zero is one. That's it. We got the values of S three. This is thirty. Then three by two. Then we have nineteen by four. We'll check once again. Five minus one by four, so LCM will be four. One how many times? Four. Four five is a twenty. Minus one correct. Then zero, zero, minus one by four, and last one is one. That's it. Now we need to calculate the ZJ value. Multiply CJ with base values. Zero into twenty-one zero. Zero into thirty is zero. So only we have to multiply fifty into fifteen. So fifty into fifteen, it comes to seven fifty. Now here zero into half zero, zero into three by two zero. So fifty into half is twenty-five. Here zero into seven by four zero, zero into nineteen by four zero. So fifty into one by four, fifty by four. Or we can take twenty-five uh, by two. Twenty-five by two. Here zero zero fifty into one is fifty. Here zero zero zero. Here zero zero. So fifty into one by four. Fifty by four is twenty-five by two. Zero zero zero. That's it. 
Now we have to find out uh, the CJ minus ZJ. 40 minus 25 is 15. Positive value. 25 minus 25 by 2. 25 minus 25 by 2. So if we take LCM 2, 1 how many times cuts to 2? 2 into 25 is 50. 50 minus 25. So 50 minus 25 is 25 by 2. 25 by 2. Then 50 minus 50, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 25 by 2 is minus 25 by 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now, optimality test. The index row element should be zeros and negatives. If there is positive, we have to make another table. Here, 15 is positive. 25 by 2 is positive. Then 0, 0, minus 25 by 2, 0. That means out of 6 items, 2 items are positive. 15 is positive and 25 by 2 is positive. That means we have to make another table. The highest positive, 15. 25 by 2 means 12.5. The 12.5 or 15, whichever is higher, that we have to select. The 15 is high. So this will be the entering variable in the next table. Which one will enter? x1 will enter in the next table which one will depart depends on minimum ratio now we calculate minimum ratio solution value divided by intersectional element 21 divided by half then 15 divided by half then 30 divided by 3 by 2 30 divided by 3 by 2 so 21 divided by half Divide by 1 by 2. So into 2 by 1. So 21 into 2, 42. Here, 15 divided by half. 15 into 2 by 1. When we, when we convert division into multiplication, instead of 1 by 2, it will become 2 by 1. So 30. Then last one is 30 into 3 by 2 will become 2 by 3. So 3 ones are 3. 10 into 20 is equal to 20. Now the minimum among these is 42 or 30 or 20. Whichever is minimum. 20 is minimum. For which variable? S3. So in the next table, which one will enter? X1 will enter. And S3. Which one? S3. S3 will depart. X1 will enter and S3 will depart in the next table. That is simplex table 3. Huh. So simplex table 2. In simplex table 2, we have seen x1 is going to enter and s3 is going to depart in the next table that is simplex table 3. So here you can see simplex table 3, x1 enters and s3 departs. So same table, but the variables here it was s1, x3 and s3. Now s3 is departing. So first s1 and x3 will remain same. x1 and x3. s1 and x3 will remain same. Thirdly, in place of S3, what I am going to take? X1. The coefficient of S1 is 0. Coefficient of X3 is 50. You can see here. And X1 is 40. Right? Now we, we need the values of the entering variable. Which is the entering variable here? X1. So first of all, we need the values of X1. Here, the values of entering variable X1. The formula is values of departing variable divided by intersectional element. So what are the values of the departing variable? Departing is X3, uh, sorry, S3. So departing variable 30, 3 by 2, 19 by 4, 0, 1, 0, minus 1 by 4, 1. So here, same thing. 30, 3 by 2, 19 by 4, 0, 0, minus 1 by 4 is 1. The same values, S3 values. Divided by intersectional element is 3 by 2. So divided by 3 by 2. All. Now, 30 divided by 3 by 2. If we convert division into multiplication, it will become 2 by 3. 3 by 2 will become 2 by 3. So into 2 by 3. So 10 into 20. So the 30 divided by 3 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. 3 by 2 divided divide by 3 by 2 is 1. 19 by 4 divided by 3 by 2. So if we multiply 2 by 3, it will become... So 19 into 2 is 38, 4, 3 is a 12, 38 by 12 or both are divisible by 2, 19 times and 6 times, 19 by 6, 
0 by 3 by 2 is 0. 0 by 3 by 2 is 0. Minus 1 by 4 into 2 by 3. So minus 2 by 12. This can be written as minus 1 by 6. So 1 divided by 1 into 3 by 2 will become 2 by 3. So ultimately 2 by 3. So these are the values of the entering variable x1. So x1 values I am going to write here. 20, 1, 19 by 6, then 0, 0, minus 1 by 6, and last one is 2 by 3. That's it. So we got the values of entering variable x1. Now we need the values of s1. The formula is old values of s1 minus intersectional element into values of entering variable. So old values of s1 here we can have 21 half. So 21 half 7 by 4 0 1 here 7 by 4 0 1 minus 1 by 4 and 0 minus 1 by 4 0 minus intersectional element of s1 is 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2 into values of the entering variable 21 then 19 by 6 0 again 0 minus 1 by 6 2 by 3 now simplify 20 into half is 10 so 21 minus 10 is 11 half minus half 0 then 7 by 4 minus 19 by 12 so LCM I have taken 12 4 how many times cuts 12 3 times 3 into 7 21 12 how many times cuts 12 1 time 1 into 19 19 so 21 minus 19 is 2 by 12. So 2 by 12 can be written as 1 by 6. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Minus 1 by 4, minus into minus will become plus. So 1 by 12. So LCM is 12. 4 how many times cuts 12? 3 times. 3 ones are 3. Minus 3 plus 1. So minus 2 by 12 or minus 1 by 6. Last one 0 minus. 2, 2 will get cancelled. So 1 by 3. So minus 1 by 3. So these are the values of S1. So I am writing the values 11, 0, then 1 by 6, then 0, 1, minus 1 by 6, and last one is minus 1 by 3. We got the values of S1. Now finally we need the values of X3. So X3 same formula old values of x3 see here old values of x3 are 15 half 1 by 4 so 15 1 by 2 1 by 4 then 1 0 1 by 4 and 0 minus intersectional element of x3 is 1 by 2 minus into 1 by 2 into values of the entering variable entering variable 20 1 19 by 6 0 0 minus 1 by 6 2 by 3 so all the entering values are taken so 20 into half is 10 15 minus 10, 5. Half minus half, 0. 1 by 4 minus 19 by 12. LCM 12, 4, 3 times 3. Minus 19. So 3 minus 19 is minus 16 by 12. So both are divisible by 4. 4, 4 is a 16, 4, 3 is a 12. Minus 4 by 3. 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 by 4 minus into minus will become plus. 1 by 12. LCM 12. 4 how many times cuts 12? 3 times. 3. 3 plus 1. 4 by 12. 1 by 3. 0 minus. 2, 2 will get cancelled. 1 by 3. So minus 1 by 3. So we got the values of x3. What are the values? 5, 0, minus 4 by 3, then 1, 0, 1 by 3, and lastly minus 1 by 3. That's it. So we have completed all the values of the variables. Now we need to calculate the ZJ value. ZJ and CJ minus ZJ. To, then we have to check the optimality test. Whether it is optimum or do we need one more table. That's what we have to find out. Right? As usual. Now. See here. ZJ. So 0 into 11 is 0, 50 into 5, 5 5 is a 25, 250 plus 40 into 20, 4 2 is a 8, 800. So 800 plus 200, 1050, 1050. 
here 0 into 0 is 0, 50 into 0 is 0, 40 into 1 is 40. Here 0 into 1 by 6 is 0, 50 into minus 4 by 3. So it will become minus uh, 50 into 4, 4, 5 is 20, 200 divided by 3. Minus 200 divided by 3 plus 40 into 19 by 6. 40 into 19 is equal to 760. 760 by 6. So LCM is 6. 3 how many times cut 6? 2 times. 2 into 200 is minus 400 plus 760. So 360 by 6. 6, 6 is 36. So it will become 60 here. It will become 60. Then 0. 50 into 1 is 50. 40 into 0 is 0. So remains 50. 0 into 1 0. 50 into 0 0. 40 into 0 0. 0 into minus 6 is 0. 50 into 1 by 3 is 50 by 3. My plus into minus will become minus. So 40 into 1 by 6. 40 by 6. So LCM is 6. 3 how many times cut 6? 2 times. 2 into 50 is 100. Minus 6, 6, 1 time 40. So it will become 60 minus 40 is 6. 100 minus 40 is 60. 60 by 60 is 10. Here 0 into minus 1 by 3 is 0. 50 into minus 1 by 3. So minus 50 by 3. Minus 50. Then plus 40. Plus 40 into 2. 80 by 3. LCM is 3, minus 50 plus 80. So 80 minus 50 is 30. 30 by 3 is 10. Here 10. Now we got the ZJ value. Now we find out CJ minus ZJ index row elements. 40 minus 40, 0. So 25 minus 60. So we can see 25 minus 60 is equal to minus 35. 50 minus 50, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 10 is minus 10. 0 minus 10 is minus 10. That's all. So fortunately, we got all the index row elements as zeros and negatives. There is no positive. So optimality test says for maximization problem, all the index row elements should be zeros and negatives. Then we reach. If there is positive, one more table. But here we don't have any positive. We don't require any other table. This is the final simplex table. We got the answer. The answer is solution of primal. Solution of primal problem. Solution of primal problem is x1 is equal to what is the value of x1 here? 20 x2 do we have the x2 in the solution no x2 0 and x3 how much is the x3 value here 5 and maximum z maximum z is equal to 1050 1050 1050 this is the solution of primal problem now we will come to the second bit of the problem through the final simplex table write the solution of the dual for this final simplex table find out the solution of dual also here this is the solution of primal right now solution of dual so first of all we convert the primal problem into dual problem in the beginning in the beginning of this problem i have given the i mean formulation of primal problem the formulation of primal problem was maximize z is equal to 40x1 plus 25x2 plus 50x3. Subject to constraints, three constraints and x1, x2, x3 greater than equal to 0. This is the primal problem already in the beginning of this problem I have given. Right? Now we will need to convert this primal into dual. How to convert? The maximization problem will become minimization. Now restrictions of primal will become the coefficient of objective function of dual. So what are the restriction of primal? Here restriction of primal are 36, 60 and 45. These are the restrictions. This will become coefficient of objective function. Objective function coefficient. 
सोल्यूशन ऑफ डुएल वाई वन इज इक्वल टू वाई टू इज इक्वल टू वाई थ्री इज इक्वल टू ना वाई वन दिस सोल्यूशन ऑफ डुएल विल बी अंडर द कॉलम्स ऑफ स्लैक वेरिएबल दिस इज द स्लैक वेरिएबल एस वन एस टू एस थ्री द एलिमेंट्स इन द इंडेक्स रो एलिमेंट्स इग्नोरिंग द साउंड तो इंडेक्स रो एलिमेंट इज द लास्ट वन तो वट आर द वैल्यूज एस वन वैल्यू इज जीरो सो विल टेक वाई वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ एस टू वैल्यू इज माइनस टेन इग्नोर माइनस साइन टेन सो हियर वाई टू इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड एस थ्री इज माइनस टेन इग्नोर माइनस अगेन विल टेक टेन दैट्स इट नाउ मिनिमम मिनिमम जेड मिनिमम जेड इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी नाउ वी कैन क्रॉस चेक whether we are getting our answer correct or not so here what is the objective function in dual 36y1 36y1 plus 60y2 plus 45y3 36 into y1 how much y1 we got 0 plus 60 into y2 y2 is 10 Plus forty five y three y three is ten. So thirty six into zero is zero. Sixty into ten is six hundred. Plus forty five into ten is four fifty. So six hundred plus four fifty one thousand fifty. We got one thousand fifty here. One thousand fifty. That means our calculations are correct. We have proved that from the same data we can derive the solution of primal and also dual in the final. simplex table that's it so this is the end of problem number 15 totally 15 problems i have solved on simplex method true it is difficult but with practice you can reduce your time the only calculations time will be more otherwise the steps the procedure will be same in every problem few points you have to remember regarding optimality test how to convert the primal to dual all these things but this it requires a lot of patience a lot of interest if you have the patience if you have the interest in learning then definitely nobody can stop you can easily get a good command otherwise it will become a just a complex thing to learn about simplex method so i wish you all the best for your preparations and uh, you visit the playlist of my channel i have uploaded so many videos for bba mba mcom bcom and ca cma etc so many videos are there so if you are satisfied suggest my channel to your friends to your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge and get a good command on the subject get confidence on the subjects so inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video